Tracy. Good. I'm here with um, my friend Stephanie Watanabe from San Francisco, the girl who knows. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tracy Matthews. And uh, we are here today because we want to talk about our amazing experience with B-School. The two of us were having lunch. Uh, Stephanie was in New York visiting her brother. And we had lunch last weekend, and we were just like gushing, gushing, gushing about the changes in our lives um, for Stephanie since last year and for me from two years ago when I first did B-School. So um, we're having this little informal interview with each other to talk about and uh, tell you what our life is like now and what it was like then. So uh, Steph, I'm going to ask you questions first and then you can ask me whatever you want. And um, the first thing I want to ask you is... Um, What's different in your life since you started, since you start, took the program last year? Since I took B-School? Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh, everything. I mean, I was telling you this at lunch, I think, a little bit, but we didn't really go too deep into it. I mean, my life has radically changed. I have, I've done a lot of things in my life. Most recently, I was a filmmaker, film producer, um, which is sort of my first love um, as a child and then growing up. And yeah. It wasn't making me happy anymore. And I found B-School like right at this time when I was transitioning and it helped me to, you know, stop doing things that weren't serving me anymore. It helped me to actually launch my blog. It helped me to understand um, what kind of business I want to have and what yeah. kind of life I want to have, which, you know, to me is one of the most important The things. most important thing. What kind of lifestyle. <laughs> uh, and not to mention, you know, at a time when you're going through any kind of transition like I was, um, it, just the community of women and, you know, the select few smart men who were there. Right. Uh, the community of women, it was amazing. I mean, just the support. I found a life coach. Um, I found just a group of women that were super awesome and supportive unconditionally. So, um everything radically changed for me and it continues to change. So actually I'm really excited to do B school again. Um, Yay, I, me too. You. I think you're probably going to do it too. <laughs> yes, um, of course. For, yeah, of course it's lifetime access, which is genius. Um, and I'm excited to do it now because I'm actually in a place with my business where I have a business and I'm ready to <laughs> now take it to the next step. And it's right. no longer about transitioning. It's about like stepping fully into my business. So um, so B school, it just continues to evolve. It's like, it's never over, even though it's only, what is it? Eight weeks. Yeah. It's just eight it weeks, just keeps going on. but it's like a lifetime. So anyway, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I mean, pretty much everything changed. <laughs> so tell me, I'm going to, um, ask you about your business because we were talking about it. Um, Stephanie is like, has the coolest business ever. And I love it. So tell me about your business. <laughs> so I have a business called um, I have a Wait, say that again, YouTube. just one more time so it's people called, can hear. It's called The Girl Who Knows. Okay. Because you're the girl who knows. <laughs> you know everything, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I know everything. And, uh, yeah, so it's a pretty big title. It's quite intimidating, actually. Um, but, I, you know, it's, it's pretty fun. So right now what I'm doing is I'm completing up a coaching program. So I'm doing lifestyle um, and business coaching and consulting yeah. um, for creative um, small business owners and entrepreneurs. So I like it. Really, right. It's kind of everyone. Yeah. Everyone's so, creative. I mean, most people are creative. Entrepreneurs are definitely creative. Solopreneurs yeah, for sure. Creative. You gotta yeah, be absolutely, right. Absolutely. Yeah, totally. And, and specifically, um, filmmakers and artists and, you know, designers and photographers and things like that, because I, I speak the language of creative. Yes. Um, but I, but I also know how to help you go, you know, and push right. you onto that next, into the next platform, um, and launch your projects. So, so it's a little bit of that. And then the girl who knows is also a place where I write about, um, all the different things that I love that I've come across through my travels and my life, um, everything from books to services, to jewelry designers, Yay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> to, uh, you know, restaurants, places to go in the cities that you're visiting, um, and it's highly curated, so I only write about things that I've actually tried and that I love. Um, 
And there's a lot of fun little juicy plans that are coming up for the girl who knows. So that's just a taste of what it is, but it, it's it's going to blossom this year. I have a feeling. So I can't wait because, like, girl, you know. And it's funny because Stephanie kind of and I kind of met each other. Our lives have crossed weird paths over the years because I used to live in San Francisco. And now I'm in New York, and Stephanie is in San Francisco and was just visiting New York. But I was teaching yoga at um, a spa there called International Orange, which had a, which had a beautiful yoga space, and Stephanie was uh, working there at the time. So it's just random how how yeah. life brings you together in random ways. So I wanted to ask – What? sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, and then Marie brings us together. I know. Again. Marie brings us together. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you one more question. Um because I, I know that there were some hesitations. Um, what was what were the things that were kind of holding you back or uh, preventing you from maybe thinking, oh, I shouldn't do B school? Like why? What was yeah, it for I you? Mean, it's a it's a big purchase. So I'll say that you know up front. I mean, I know that a lot of people probably feel that way. Like, oh my gosh, you know, this is almost what is it? Almost two thousand um, dollars, just under. Um, what am I? I don't know, I don't really have a business, or even if I do have a business, is this worth it? So there was just a lot of questions. And even though, you know, I think Marie, for sure, and the entire B-School crew, like, really gives a lot of feedback and answers around those questions, there's still that, like, lingering yeah. doubt. Like, am I going to really get my money's worth? Right. <laughs> um, and, and for me, another one was, am I actually going to use what I'm learning? Because right. I am an information junkie. I mean, as the girl who knows, I love to learn and right. absorb so I've done a lot of courses, a lot. And I just thought, well, is this going to be like another one? Or I just kind of want to right. watch it and then I don't do anything. Right. It's, yeah. So there was a, right? I mean, it's, it's definitely something to think about. Yeah. But um, there was a lot of concerns around that piece. But I have to say that it paid for itself like oh, times 100, you know? And it's not just about whatever financial results you see, which I think are really great. I think it's personal benefits, lifestyle benefits, spiritual benefits. Right. There's so much that comes out of doing a program like this. Um, it's you just it's really hard to even really say how impactful it yeah, is. Yeah, it's not so, some of the some of the results aren't even tangible, I would say. Exactly. Right. That's tangible exactly. in like a physical like oh sense, but Yeah. I know that you were saying like we were both saying like our lives are so much better than than before so yeah and and you know to be honest like the, I only I did b-school once and and at the beginning of that you know first b-school I didn't have a business so for me going through it the first time was right. slightly premature um but I have to say like the life benefits that I've gotten from it the amount of self-confidence that it's given me um the knowledge the community it's you know even if you don't have a solid business yeah. yet I think it will help you get clear on what that's going to be for yourself. So it's worth doing either way, whether you have the business, you're just right. starting out, you know, you're a seasoned professional, whatever. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Well, I think you told me that some of your business ideas came from interactions with B-schoolers, didn't they? And then the girl who knows kind of evolved out of that. Yeah. And so well, you wouldn't have a business if you didn't join or you weren't in B-school, right? No. no, not at all. I mean, my the name, the girl who knows, actually came via – um, my coach, Sally Hope, who's also a Who is awesome. If you guys can get on her so list, awesome. she's so cool. <laughs> yeah, Sallyhope.com. She's, yeah. She's the shit. She's um, rad. Anyway, so I, um, yeah, I randomly was talking to her about this, you know, and she's like, my friend just told me the greatest name on the planet for this blog of yours, and I went online, registered it. So, you know, the ideas, the inspiration, um, it's just like this amazing community. So yeah, it's it's totally a no brainer. Even though it might seem like it's a little, you know, seems spicy. huge for most it people. It seems huge. It seems huge. I mean, I have to say that you just kind of have to bite the bullet and do it. It's an investment in you and your business, um, in your life. Right. Really. It's true. Yeah. Yay. So I want to ask you some okay. questions. Okay. 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 So tell me about your business just a little bit um, and how your business evolved and changed over the last two years that you've been a part of the B-School community. Um, it's changed so much. So uh, I'm a jewelry designer and a yoga teacher and um, 
someone who likes to share amazing information with the world. So I don't really know what that's called yet. I call myself a curator, but that's still evolving. So we'll see what happens. But um, also the girl who knows. <laughs> what'd you say? I said you're also the girl. The girl who knows, but in a different kind of way, I think. Maybe more for like yoga and jewelry stuff and other cool people, like cool people that I know, right? Um, yeah. So I had a business for 11 years, which I shut down at the end of 2009. And um, it was a jewelry company. And I had a lot of success with that company. Kind of uh, took a big hit when uh, the financial crisis happened. And I gave up the fight. I mean, there's so much more to the story. But the short, the short of the long is that I just gave up the fight. And I didn't want to do it anymore. And if I start crying, sorry, guys. But still a little bit emotional to me because that was like my first child. It's like losing a, a baby. Um, so I was kind of, you know, took a few months off and I just started picking up and teaching a lot of yoga. I always have taught yoga, but I was like teaching yoga pretty much full time. And I was like, well, maybe I'll just be a full time yoga instructor. But jewelry kept coming back to me. Like people were still finding me. Like my old fans were like, where have you gone? Why haven't we seen emails? Like what happened? You know, I want, I still want that piece of jewelry that I saw like two years ago. You know, I still get emails from people saying, I want this. I lost my favorite necklace. <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> um, so it was still coming back. And then I had slowly started transitioning into just working with a few select people that I wanted to work with um, to design engagement rings and wedding bands. And as I started unfolding in that process, you know, this uh, company started to evolve. And um, it sort of spawned out of this idea that I wanted to start working just directly with customers. And before my business model was like a wholesale model, I primarily sold to retail stores and we were in like 300 stores around the world and um, all that stuff. It was just like com something completely different, like selling or shipping a thousand units a month. And now it was just like, you know, I want a better life. I don't want the stress. I don't want to be running spending my time running a business, I want to spend my time creating. And um, I just didn't know how to get back to that. So it's funny. So six months kind of went by and the summer happened and I had connected with some amazing people in New York. And one of them was my friend, Kate Muller, uh, Kate Northrup Muller, who is also B-schooler and an awesome chick. You should find her online. Um, I think her website is katenorthrup.com. I think, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think that Sally and Kate expected us to plug them either. <laughs> this will be a surprise to them. They deserve it. They do deserve it. So I had connected with Kate, and um, she sent out an email one day. She she went, came around and feng shui'd my house because I was trying to bring more money into my apartment, or my, money into my life. And so um, she sent out an email saying called the Instant Moneymaker Campaign, and I was like, dude, this is like right up my alley. I'm trying to make more money. Like, what can I do to make more money. So it was a link to Marie's video, her instant money maker campaign, and sort of like this little walkthrough about how you can um, use your contacts and connections to uh, generate, you know, income fast. And that sounds a little bit cheesy, but um, I tried it out and it, it worked. And at the time I was selling um, yoga privates and I sold out of my, um, my offering within 36 hours, which I think is amazing. And then I was on the list and started getting the B school lead up. And I was like, I didn't know anything about marketing myself online. You know, I'd done it for years, but in a, in a totally different way. And it wasn't as important because I was really working with wholesale buyers um, and meeting them at trade shows and we emailed, but it wasn't like I needed to find new stores by marketing to retail stores online. It just wasn't how it was done back then. So it is done that way now, but um, it wasn't how it was done back then. So I had, I was like, you know what? I think this might be good for me because if I really want to make a shift and switch in this new direction, working directly with clients, you know, I have clients all over the world, right? Who are already fans of mine. Um, the only way I'm going to be able to do it is if I market to them online because I'm not going to be able to see most of them in person. You know, there, I do have clients in New York who I meet in my office, but most of the people I talk to are via Skype or on the phone or we just email. Like I don't, I don't meet with people. I don't have samples to even show them. You know, it's like we're, we're working together to create something. So, um, 
that was August of 2010. And I was featured in Marie's video. Some of you might have seen it. And I said 2009, but it was actually 2010. So it's even better, um, better story because it's a shorter amount of time. So at that point, I, had, I think I had like one client who was buying a wedding band for him and his wife and or his fiance, I guess they were getting married. And the total sale or revenue was about $2,000. Um, and that was, that's a little bit low. Like it was a little bit low for what I was doing, but I was like kind of in this like feast or famine mode. I'm like, I need to take anything that comes, comes along because I didn't know when the next thing was going to come. And, you know, teaching yoga is a really, um, honorable job, but most yoga teachers don't get paid that much. And I live in New York. It's expensive. So I was like, I got to do something. So B school came around and I was like, Oh my God, I'm doing it. And then I looked at the thing and I was like, Holy shite, excuse my language, it's expensive. <laughs> so I thought about it for a little bit. Um, and I think I signed up on the last day. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, something is telling me I have to do it. Uh, my gut. And, you know, I, I had spent a lot of time listening to my head. And I needed to learn to trust my gut. So I did it. Within a month, I could say my life dramatically changed. And it's funny, I was dating a guy at this time, I probably shouldn't say this, but um, he would do some of the modules and be like, we would be like fighting over, I'm like, they, they know what they're talking about. And I was totally right, because um, I'm not going to mention anything about it, but where I am now compared to how like I was back then is dramatically different. I was in just a terrible place, like personally. I felt really bad. I felt like a failure. I had a lot of shame too because I was embarrassed. Like I had driven my business into the ground and like it's still so emotional. My voice is like getting a little bit shaky, but I literally like had to face like pretty much face the music. Like I'm done. Like I'm done as a designer. Like how can I evolve, you know, and how can I do this? And maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I just live a different life. So it gave me hope, which was the first thing, and um, I need to take a breath. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and then things started dramatically shifting. You know, my life, my relationship with myself changed, and you know, it's interesting because um, the relationship I was speaking of ended shortly thereafter. I wish him the best; he's a good guy, but it wasn't the right thing for me, um, and. Everything that wasn't working for me started spinning out of my life. And sometimes I didn't understand it at the time. I was like, oh, wait, I'm not ready to get rid of that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know, when I identified what I wanted, which was freedom um, to design and create, to work with people, to create something that is for them, you know, to create something that um, someone loves more than I do. I mean, that is like, that's like, Really, that's not when I know I've won. And um, and also, I think to be happy. That was like the real, the biggest thing because I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. So, um, wow, fast forward two years, things have dramatically changed for me. My two grand went to $30,000 a month, which I I still booked. cannot get over that. I mean, that is like, <laughs> that is so major. <laughs> it is so major. And actually, things are going like super well this month too. I like all of a sudden all this stuff's coming in. It's like, it's crazy when you change your attitude and you value what yourself, I think internally and what you have to offer to the world, everyone else starts to value you as well. Because, um, what I will say to all of you who are watching this video is that you are amazing and, um, you just need to understand that about yourself. And that's what I didn't get. And, I think the number one, besides being happy, because really being happy was the number one thing, but I really wanted to be myself in my brand. And I felt like I was always editing myself before or trying to like be something I wasn't. And when I was doing that, that's when like, you know, I would have a collection that bombed or um, buyers were right about to right about to sign on the paper. And then they're like, oh, we're just going to pass this time or something like that. Or because I was like... You get those like clients that are nightmares. Oh yeah, or you're you're getting the ones who are like nickel and diming you after yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, no, it's not. That's not what I want. I can't do it anymore. It's too emotionally draining. And um, yeah, things have changed. I mean, there's so many other things that have changed, and it's not just a monetary thing for me. For me, it was 
more about the way I feel about myself, my business, my brand. And then talking about what you spoke about earlier is this community of women. I, I like have made some of the best friends of my life through this group. And I just wish everyone was in New York so we could hang out all the time. Cause, um, because it's just, or if we we're all just in the same place, but there are times when we get to do that, but it's not often enough. And, um, I'm just like really grateful to be connected with so many amazing people who are life changers, game changers, and who are in this same kind of positive space. I mean, it's like, it's insane. So it's insane. Anyway. It's totally insane. And what's yeah. amazing is that they're all doing the same thing we're doing, which is like, uh, yeah, you know, it's true. Most, it's like most of my friends, God bless them. And I love all of them are not. Um, doing the same thing I'm doing. So I think maybe they think I'm crazy. I mean, just No, they little. do. Oh. My friends think I'm crazy, but that's okay. They still love me. They see exactly. <laughs> Family too. Yes. So to have a, a, such a support group, um, yeah, it's just priceless. It really is. It's worth the price of admission alone for sure. It is. Absolutely. Yay. So what else? Do you have any other questions um, for me? What else? I don't know. I mean, I think that's it. Well, I wanted to I wanted to just add something if I can because yeah. I know a lot of people um are like the people that I've spoken to because I'm so passionate about this. I mean, I'm like shouting out the window of my apartment like, "You have to do B school. It's so awesome." You know, it's like changed my life. And um the one thing I would say, and like the thing that a lot of people have said to me is like, well, one of my friends recently said to me like, well, I don't really have a business and I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. So like, I think you would be a good person for me to like connect her with if she's like interested in doing it. Yeah. But the other thing, and I think my biggest fear in signing up was, was, um, really the expense at that time. Cause I'm not really afraid of a lot. Like I do a lot of personal growth stuff. So like the, it was really exciting for me to like, sort of make the time for this. I was really freaking busy at the time. I know it sounds like I wasn't, but when you teach like 15 yoga classes a week, that's like working 40 to 60 hours a week because of the amount of commuting time and energy you have to put into it. Um, um, so time is usually one thing, but I somehow like squeezed in and made the time, you know? Um, but the bigger thing was the expense. Like I was freaking out. Like I didn't have any money. Like I had started to drain, I like drained through like all of my savings because I just like shut down my business. You know what I mean? And yeah. like, it was pretty scary, but I was like something, something shifted the second I started. And, you know, even if it wasn't like immediate in some, some cases, like there are so many people there who just like elevate you and lift you up and yeah. give you con like, and make you believe in yourself. Like, I don't know what to say about it other than that. And then they become your biggest fans because, um, so here's a good story that I wanted to share and I've been sharing it with, um, a couple of my friends lately. Um, so we talked, we talked about this community of women and I can track back, um, in the last, like probably six months and, you know, cause people like to talk about numbers and this is where I can like probably communicate the best of how, like of the physical benefits that, that, that this program has done for me within the last six months, maybe a little bit. So I started really like working like sort of partnerships with these women and like getting involved in like discussing like how we can work together. And within the last six months through not only personal referrals from them, from actual B schoolers working directly with me and, um, through a few affiliate partnerships that I did with only like three people, I think, I generated $75,000 in revenue just from that. Yeah. And, um, you know, everyone's business is a little bit different. Jewelry is expensive, so there is a cost associated with it. But, um, but even if you, like, did some partnerships and made an extra ten grand in six months, like, in addition to what you're making now, like, that would change your life. You know what I mean? I mean honestly, and you would like easily. Even a couple hundred, couple thousand dollars, yeah. like anything is more than what you're already doing now. So yeah. the benefits and, can only, you know, right. go up. It's true. So anyway. That's amazing. That's really amazing. And If I had pom-poms, I'd be shaking them right now. Like if I, I I'm so not a cheerleader, but if I was, <laughs> I'd be doing high kicks too. and backflips. <laughs> it might hurt my back right now. Yeah, I don't do it. You just got off a plane. I know. <laughs> 
so much for sharing. I learned a ton actually about your story just now. So oh, thank so you amazing. too. I, I love seeing it, and I love I love the two different um, places that we're both at. Like I still feel like I'm growing, and it's all sort of coming together and like gelling. And you're established and doing all this great stuff. So yeah. it's like you know the two ends of the spectrum. We're able to show people like yeah. it's working for everybody. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just, I was able to spend two and a half weeks in New York City um, because of doing B-School. I mean, directly because of doing B-School, allowing myself that freedom to be where I need to be, to be inspired, right. to create. Um, so there's just so much. It's just, you got to do it. And I was just in Bali for three weeks. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Working from Bali. I, I can't think of anything yeah. better than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll take yeah. it every year. Way, I'm going with you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> We'll plan. We'll plan our girl who knows um, slash curator uh-huh. retreat and uh, so maybe some some other destination besides Bali since we've already been. But I would go back in a second. Anyway. Maldive Island. I could do the Maldive Island. I want to do that too. I'm so done. I need to learn to dive. Bungalows over the water. Oh my so god! Fun. Amazing. So yeah. anyway, people, you see, this is exactly yes. how the ideas come about <laughs> with your fellow beast schoolers. I know we're babbling at this point. We should let them go. <laughs> So good to talk to you, girl, and this was so awesome. Um, I can't wait to uh, hang out with you again soon when, uh, when you come back to see your brother. Yeah, absolutely, or when you're out here, and then I'll definitely see you inside B-School in a few weeks. Yay! Okay, bye. Bye, you guys. Thanks for bye. watching.